All right, this is the uh, chapter eight test review. I'm gonna go through the odds really quick to make sure you know how to do each type of every problem. Um, I am going to first label, oh, first of all, I should point out the directions here. Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We have two of the sides, we need to find the third one. So remember all of these kind of start with the same way. We're gonna um, mark the c side and then the a and the b. You can, inter in, you can switch the a and the b if you want to. The c has to be the hypotenuse, okay, which is across from the right angle. I'm gonna write my formula. And I have a 12 by A and I have a 5 by B, so I'm going to plug in 12 and 5. I am going to square 12. It's 144. Make sure you're doing 12 times 12 or 12 squared, not um, 12 times 2. 5 squared is 25. And I'm going to add those together and I get 169. And in order to get the C by itself, don't forget to square root both sides, and we get 13 equals C. I could have also put X there, I guess. Usually I use the letter. These are all X's. The missing side is 13. Um, the next group is just asking to remember um, how to name the hypotenuse. What's the hypotenuse? It is this side, and it is the side that connects B and C. So notice how um, the directions say you're going to need two letters, okay? So BC is the hypotenuse. We do um, adjacent to C. That means this is the angle we're thinking about. I'm going to swoop it. I am going to label opposite. This side is hypotenuse. This side is adjacent. So the adjacent is AC. Okay, it's the side that connects A and C. Let me erase this. Um, the last one, the side adjacent to B. So I'm going to swoop B. This is H. This is O. So I forgot to erase this. This is A. So the adjacent side to angle B, since I'm asking for adjacent, it's going to be this one, the one that I labeled with an A, and that is AB. Um, the next group we are, let's see, I'm, I'll do cosine of A. So again, A is the angle that they're asking about, so I'm going to swoop it. I'm going to label H, O, and A. And for cosine, if you remember Sokotoa, Um, cosine is asking me about A and H, and I have to put them in order. The A has to go on top, so the A is the 24. And the H is the 25. And what I'm going to do is put the 24 over 25 in my calculator. Oops, 24 divided by 25, and I get 0.96. Okay, excellent. So there's that. Um, 11, it's asking me what angle goes in the blank in order to do sine 9 over 41. Well, I know from Sokotoa that sine is O and H. So I'm going to label 9 with an O, and I'm going to label 41 with an H. Okay, and I need to figure out what opposite, what angle is opposite the opposite side, and it's L. Okay, I'm going to erase my triangle, and I'm going to do this one. Um, for tangent, tangent from Sokotoa is O divided by A. So I'm going to put an O by the 40, and I'm going to put an A by the 9. Okay, and again, I need to figure out what's opposite this. The opposite angle to that side is M, so I'm going to put an M there. Okay, pretty quick, pretty simple. I'm going to save, um, skip 15 and 16 just because I think you know how to solve those equations, and we're going to check that when we're actually doing um, triangle problems like this. So for number, what am I doing, odds? 19. I see an angle that has that I need to swoop. I'm going to mark the H, the O, and the A. And i got to figure out what button in the calculator I'm going to use to help me solve this one. Remember, so, ka, toa. Okay. And because I have a um, an X with my A and my numbers with my O, A and O is this one. That tells me to use tangent. So I'm going to do tan. 65. And remember that tangent is O divided by A, so I'm going to put the 15 on top and the X on the bottom and make sure that fraction goes in the right spot with the numbers in the right place. Again, the O has to go on top, so that's why I put the 15 there. The A has to go on the bottom, that's why I put the X there. I'm going to tan 65 in the calculator. Let's see what that is. Oops, tan 65. 
Um, I'm going to use four decimal places. So I'm just going to cut off one, four, four, five. So my rounding is really accurate. And I'm going to cross multiply this. I'm going to do 15 times one is 15. I'm going to do 2.1445x. To get x by itself, I divide. 2.1445. I'm going to get 6.99 which rounds to 7.0 if you're typing in um, one decimal place or nearest tenth. Okay, great, there's 19, let's do 21. Swoop, this is the H, this is the O, the other side is the A, and I have to look at Sokotoa and decide which combo or which button in the calculator I'm gonna use, and I have a number with my O and I have a X with my H, so O and H tells me to use sign, and you always sign the angle and the O side has to go on top, which is six. The H has to go on the bottom, which is X. I am going to type that into the calculator, sine 36. I'm gonna cut off four decimal places. And again, I'm gonna cross multiply this. I've got six times one, which is six. I've got 0.5877 times X, and I'm going to divide. And I end up with x equals uh, 6 divided by 0.5877, 10 point two, the 0 does nothing to the 2, so it stays, 10.2. I'm going to put 10.2, and I'm going to move on to the last section, number 23. I'm going to do all of these the same exact way. I swoop the angle, in this case it's an x, that tells me I'm using a different button in the calculator, but I'm still going to label the h the O and the A. And since I have numbers with my O and my A, looking at Soka Toa, that tells me to do tan. And I have to tan the angle, right? But this game, I don't know what the angle is. So there's not a number that goes here. I put X there. Whatever gets swooped goes with the sine or the cos or the tan, whatever button you choose. And remember, the fraction for tan is O divided by A. So the O has to go on top, which is 11. The A has to go on the bottom, which is three. In order to get x by itself here, I have to tan inverse the fraction. So I am going to do second tan. So make sure I have that negative one symbol and type 11 over three inside the parentheses and I get 74.7. The four after the seven leaves the seven the way that it is, 74.7. That goes here. I am going to do one more, you guys, and then we are donezo. Here I'm swooping this, the 20 is the H, the 9 is the O, the other side is the A. I have to look at Sogotoa, I have numbers with O and H, so I have to pick the combo that goes with O and H, and that is sine. And I'm putting sine of the angle, I don't know what the angle is, so I'm putting X. And O divided by H is 9 divided by 20. Um, in order to get X by itself, I have to do sine inverse, 9 over 20. And when I do second sine 9 over 20, I get 26.74. So the 4 makes the 7 stay. 26.7, and we are done, Zoe, you guys. Thanks for watching the odds. We're going to do it in class. Love you all.